Hello everyone, I'm Seungyo, Seungyo, a PhD student at KAIST. Today I'll be discussing our paper supporting trusted VM with hardware-based secure remote memory. Uh, I will go over, go over some background first. Uh, with the rise of AI and cloud services, the demand for memory has been increasing. M moreover, just a second. Mo <coughs> just a second until uh, we lost the display. This one. Let me continue. Uh, moreover, uh, processing in memory like database, database or AI inference is essential for those systems to achieve low latencies. Uh, to keep the data in memory, we need a large memory space. And some system may, may over provision their memory capa capacity, which ends up uh, wasting a lot of memories. So, so this aggregated memory system has emerge to address these challenges. Uh, one way to achieve memory disaggregation is by using remote DMA. Uh, this reduces memory waste by uh, making use of idle memory from other nodes. Uh, so this diagram shows how one node donates memory to another uh, and the pages are exchanged over the network. In this figure, uh, on the right, the donated memory is shown in green. So in this paper, we call the donating node, node as a donor and the receiving node the recipient. Uh, in such disaggregated system, efficient memory management is crucial to handle highly fluctuating memory demands, uh, especially in cloud scenarios such as um, serverless system or spot instances. So there have been a system that uses uh, memory pool for uh, like containers as shown in this figure. There are some recent studies showing that RDMA can allow effective expansion of memory with some optimizations. And uh, security is also a significant concern in memory disaggregation. First, First, the uh, confidentiality and integrity of pages stored in donor nodes must be protected, especially when the privileged software the, of the donor node is compromised. So confidentiality is limiting illegal accesses to the data, and in integrity is ensuring the data is accurate or not modified. Uh, so we, we must prevent the memory contents from being exposed or being modified by the donor's host. In addition, uh, when a node donates part of its memory, it must be protected from any illegal attempts to access unauthorized region, regions. Uh, as shown in this figure, the uh, process running on the recipient node should not be able to uh, access memory that were not being donated. So protecting the donor from such malicious accesses is crucial for memory disaggregation. <coughs> and moreover, there is a study that shows the reused distance of page address may leak information about workloads. So the node, donor node looks at the addresses and uh, that are accessed by the recipient to calculate the reused distance of a certain page. Uh, in this diagram, you can see a uh, page address is accessed every three page accesses. Uh, this access pattern can be a um, gadget <coughs> for an attack. So we need to keep the access pattern unknown to attackers. Uh, to ensure the ob obliviousness of this memory content, uh, the, there are some studies such as ORM, which is, which is notably slow. So in this paper, we designed an obfuscator to hide the access patterns. 
and uh, to 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 address the challenge of fluctuating memory demands in cloud scenarios, we are assuming that the system is using a memory pool. Yeah. So in these scenarios, co coarse gr coarse memory allocation can lead to a memory fragmentation. So we decided to manage memory in finer granularity, which is a page granularity. To, to address, address these security challenges and efficient disaggregation, we propose TDMEM, which is a hardware-based trusted disaggregated memory system. Uh, since we assume that the hypervisor is a possible attacker, uh, there need to be a way to ensure security of VM contents from it. So there are solutions to prevent attacks from such compromised privileged software, Intel TDX and AMD SCV. They provide hardware-based protection by encrypting the memory contents of B VM. Uh, so this figure is, uh, is the overview of Intel TDX. The green box in the figure denotes a VM that is prote <coughs> protected by this mechanism. It is called trusted domain VM and TVM for sure, short. By using this technique, we can ensure the security of VMs. Uh, so far, we've discussed about the uh, challenges in the disaggregate, disaggregated memory system. Now, now we will talk about our solutions. Uh, before we get into the details, I'll discuss about our threat model first. So this diagram represents a brief overview of our system. Uh, you can see the recipient on the left and the donor, donor on the right. And the recipient node is uh, running a trusted VM on a hyper, hyper, hypervisor. Uh, the, the user process swap pages to the memory donor through our TDMM engine, TDMM e, uh, TDME in this diagram, which is a <coughs> implementation of uh, an F, F, FPGA. So this diagram represents more detailed ver version of our system. So the area colored in blue, blue are TCB, stands for Trusted Computing Base, which contains trusted VM and our system TDMM engine. Uh, so T TVM ensures confidenti confidentiality and integrity of VM memory. And also we can put the TDMM engine in TCB because the FPGA can securely load an encrypted bit stream and disable, disable reprogramming so that uh, it prevents modifications by the, a compromised host. So this diagram shows uh, swap in process of a page. Uh, the user process in the local node, the left yellow box, is trying to swap in a page from a donor memory. The, the white boxes explain each, each step of the process and the red marks indicate the possible attackers in, the, in this process. First, I want to mention that TDMM enables the recipient to access donor memory directly using its physical address because the address translations are in the critical path so the complex translation layers can cause performance overhead. So the first step is to check the translation table to know where the page is stored in the donor node. Then it sends a request of, uh, of the page to TDMM engine. Since we are assuming the page is protected by the TVM, it is safe from a compromised hyper hypervisor. Uh, then the request is forwarded to donor's engine to check the ownership of the requested page. Here the page is encrypted, so it's also safe from attacks by malicious network, and the donor engine, donor's engine checks the ownership so that the donor's memory is safe from ownership attack by recipient. By the way, uh, TDMM can store the pages in HBM of TDMM engine, uh, on board, uh, is it the memory on board to leverage the memory space. 
when, when the ownership is confirmed, it returns the page with the response, and the page is decrypted by the kernel, the recipient side kernel. kernel. Uh, and next is uh, swapping out pages from the recipient node, including how it guarantees confidentiality and integrity. Uh, the pages swapped out from um, the recipient DVM will be encrypted by the kernel, so the confidentiality is ensured. Neither the hypervisor or the network cannot see the contents of the encrypted pages, and TVM keeps the information of message authentic authentication code safely, so integrity is ensured. When the request is sent to donor side engine, uh, it updates the ownership table and passes it through the, the memory allocator. Then the obfuscator randomly selects the page location to be stored to hide, hide the access patter pattern from the donor host. For example, when the page is being write back, uh, TDMM engine invalid invalidates the previous location and stores it to a new location. So we can hide the reuse distance of, of this page. Finally, it updates the translation table, table uh, in the recipient guest OS. Uh, this shows the, the actual implementation of TDMM from a memory reclama reclamation to delivering a request to the engine. TDMM is tightly integrated to the virtual memory system of the Linux kernel by supporting the operations of front swap, which is a, an interface used, used to redire, redirect swap operations to other subsystems. So the process goes like this. Uh, when a page is requested to, to be swapped, uh, it is forwarded to, through front swap which is denoted as A. And B, QDMA driver sends the request to user logic for processing. And C, the user, user logic processes the request, and the, the response is generated by the donor engine and then forwarded to the guest OS. So this is our evaluation setup. Uh, there is a recipient guest running on a hypervisor and a donor node, and TDMM engine is implemented in, on Alveo U50. By the limitation of our ha hardware, we just assume the process is running on TVM, trusted, trusted VM. Since TVM is a uh, hardware-based protection, the overhead will be negligible uh, compared to the regular B VM. And the flow, the, this flow, floor plan shows how resources are utilized, utilized in the FPGA. Uh, this result shows the normalized performance of fast swap and our system. Uh, fast swap and our system. Uh, the performance is normalized by the performance when the system uses uh, local, local memory only. So basically this graph represents the slowdown when the pages are swapped to remote memories. So we tested fast, fast swap, uh, an existing solution for enhancing RDMA throughput, comparing that with TDMM HBM plane, which means the performance when swapped pages are stored in donor side HBM without encryption. And the DRAM means to store the pages in the donor side DRAM. And the crypt means that the system uses page encryption and so on. Uh, so fast swap shows 63% of per performance compared to the non-swapped run. And TDMM experienced 5% performance loss compared to the fast swap. We, analyzed that the performance overhead from software encryption is mostly hidden by the read-ahead read -ahead mechanism in their Linux kernel. So, uh, please see the 
paper paper for more detail. Uh, in this exper experiment, we measure the memory bandwidth of TDMEM and compare it with fast swap. The memory bandwidth is uh, measured with a stream benchmark. Uh, you can see the memory bandwidth gap between uh, TDMEM HBM crypt and TDMEM DRAM crypt is negligible, uh, implying that the major bottleneck for, for the bandwidth is not the memory. Also, bandwidth loss of TDMM DRAM crypt compared to fast swap is 24% 20, in average for all fast mem memory, memory ratio. The maximum memory bandwidth is reduced for our prototype, so uh, we require further optimizations of data path implementation on the FPGA board. In conclusion, TDMM builds a secure and efficient memory disaggregation with a 5% five, five performance loss compared to fast swap. So thank you for listening, and I'll now take any questions. Thank you so much. Uh, any questions for thank you? Uh, nice talk, and uh, I just have a few like high-level question. One is, um, so in this work, you basically assume RDMA-based page granularity uh, remote dis disaggregated yes. memory, yes. but with rise of new technology such as CXL, yeah. which allows you to access you know remote memory in byte granularity without you know, going through the swapping mechanism. Yeah. So the first question is, how would the problem really change? What I'm, what I'm asking is, is the same problem will be there even if we replace this mechanism with CXL like by uh interconnects? Or uh, if, if the answer is yes, the second question is whether you can uh, apply your actual solution to that kind of environment as well. So you know, can you comment on these two questions? Um. Actually, I don't know much details about CXL security, so how the security is ensured in CXL, CXL interface. Uh, but um, yeah, yeah. So, so the CXL doesn't need the translation translation tables. It just it just um, store and loads from the remote memory. Yeah, so. The problem problem must be changed a lot, but but I'm not sure sure that is the, that the challenges will be the same with these uh, challenges. So one one question one specific uh, issue I can imagine is you encrypt the page yes. uh, encrypt in the page granularity right? Yes, yes. But if you actually access um, in cache line granularity, for example, then yeah. you probably need to have a lot more, yeah, true. you know, the Mac code, for example, yeah, 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 uh, because you need to actually attach this Mac yeah, code yeah. for every cache line so that yeah, yeah. into the page. Yeah, yeah. So would that kind of thing can, in a sense, make your your solution not effective on the new setup, things like that? Is yeah, that yeah, yeah, true. Exactly, yeah, thank you. Okay, so th that's one question. And then, uh, yeah, so uh, my, my understanding is the problem it's more or less, more or less there because yeah. you you know maybe the whole the donor uh, node may have still have access to this memory local memory, yeah. uh, but you know um, so s problem is likely to be there, but the solution may be very yeah, different yeah, yeah. from right. yours. Right. That's my understanding. Yeah, yeah. Right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>